If you're on board, you're going to get in line with the Lord. Because we're his representatives and we ain't playing and neither is God. Give God a hand. Amen. I'm going to say something before we close down here and take communion. One announcement I forgot is we're getting ready to go back out to the rest. Out to the South Dakota. The Wounded Knee and the Rosebud Reservation. A few of you have been out there with us. Been going out there since 2003. We're right now planning our next trip, the time and that. And uh, we want to let you know that if you are called to go, if you feel you're to go, you see, you see Jeremiah. And he'll put your name on a list and he'll start praying about it. But this is very serious, and I'll tell you why. Because we've been there since 2003, and it's grown to a, a point out with the Native Americans where we have to plant a church out there. You know what that means? Somebody among us is going to have to be committed and here to call. Amen. You don't plant churches without, with a bunch of deadheads. Amen. You plant churches with people that are sacrificing their life for the kingdom of God. Say, so that's me, that's me, God's calling me. I'll do this. God don't deal with lazy people when it comes to the kingdom of God. And I'll tell you what, he ain't playing when he had us go up to them Indians either years ago. Amen. Been a lot of blood sweat there. Same with Haiti. Amen. We got a lot of works in Haiti. You know, we just got back before all that earthquake happened. We got works down there. There's serious help needed. Serious, serious manpower needed. People got to be committed. In other areas where we're going and involved in. I'll tell you what, folks, this ain't a place to just come in here and not do the work. You come here, you're going to be a doer. You better find you a church where you can just relax and swing free and enjoy the scene. This is not a place to be a pew seater. You get here, you get involved in Jesus. Name. Praise God. Give God a hand. Amen. Amen. I'll close with this. If you think you want to get up before God and have zero fruit, and Him look at you and say, I don't know you, you're in the wrong place. Hopefully you're going to get educated enough here through the Spirit and the Word of God that you're going to want to be one of those ones that stand before Him. Upwards a hundredfold fruit, having done the will of God, faithful unto death. And he look at you and say, well done, my good and faithful servant, enter in the joy of the Lord. That's our job and our responsibility and our mandate before God for you. Right. We're not here to blow no smoke. We're here to help you cross the finish line, get where you got to go, and be productive in this earth. So quit singing the blues. And again, thank God for B.B. King and all the other bros. But it's time to start singing high praise of God and do what you've got to do in Jesus' name. Let's bow our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as you just prepare our hearts for communion, have mercy on us, Lord. Forgive us for sins and iniquities, bondages. Forgive us for, I hear this word, excuses that we make, not just to sin, but to be lazy, be lethargic. And, and I hear this, the blame game. Quit blaming other people for your situation. Amen. Ain't nobody's fault. You are where you want to be right now. Every one of us is right where we want to be. And you got to have the want to to serve God. You, if you seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, everything else will be added to you. You don't have to worry about what you're going to get. You be concerned about who you're going to serve. Amen. And God will work out the particulars. God will make you the head, not the tail, to be above only, not beneath. But that's on you. You ain't going to play the system, folks. You ain't going to play God. You showing up ain't going to play us. I should put that around. You ain't going to play me. You ain't going to play the system. And you show enough ain't going to play God. I got to put the show enough on God. Because you might get by me. But when all the smoke clears, God knows where we're all at. God have mercy on us all. God make us true disciples of Jesus Christ. There's little time, folks. This world's escalating real quick to that new world order. One world government. Anybody knows behind the scenes like me and Jeremiah do and study that? This thing, it's not coming down the pike, it's here. It's breathing down our throats. And it's time for God's people to rise up and be counted worthy to suffer shame for the name of Jesus' sake. So quit worrying about who you're going to please and what you're going to do with your life and give your life to God and be for real. Amen. Let's get this job done and get the people saved that God's calling us to do what we got to do in Jesus' name. So Lord, continue to have mercy on us, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father... Help us to help us to be ready in the days ahead for what comes down the pike, Lord. We know we can be ready. We just got to be determined. We want we want you more than anything else in Jesus' name. Let's uh, take those communion elements and uh, pass them out. Everybody's going to take communion. If you're a blood washed saint, if you repent of your sins.